An issue that I've been dealing with for probably most of my life um, is that when I get a cold, it could be you know any kind of cold, common cold, flu, whatever, I will oftentimes develop a cough during that cold. And then when the cold goes away, the cough just keeps going on and on and on for months. And I've been to, I can't tell you how many doctors, pulmonologists, ENTs, asthma doctors, I've been on every kind of medicine, tried every kind of different treatment, everything I've tried to eat and not eat to cure it. And I finally figured out how to cure it. And it's actually really kind of hilariously simple. And so I wanted to share it with you guys because maybe you have a cough that won't go away as well. And I'm telling you, no doctor ever told me to try this treatment out except this one doctor, uh, and it really, really worked. So maybe it will help you. I'm making this video especially for singers because if you're a singer, you know how bad it is to have a cough that won't go away. Um, I mean, it's super annoying for anyone to have a long-lasting cough, so that's why I hope this video could be of help to anybody. But singers in particular, you know, you want to cough as little as possible because it makes you hoarse and lose your voice. And um, my voice teacher even tells me it's bad to clear your throat, like, <clears> that I should really just try to take a sip of water instead of clearing my throat because any, any kind of thing like that can damage your voice. So um, I definitely still clear my throat a lot though. <clears throat> way too much actually. And I talk like in a gravel voice, which my voice teacher also tells me I shouldn't do. But those kind of habits are hard to break, aren't they? I'm not always the best student. Anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I went through in the past and then the cure that finally has miraculously worked. I feel silly and obvious to say this, but I'm obviously not a doctor, so if you have a cough or you're having trouble breathing, you should definitely go see a doctor and not just watch my little stupid video because you might have something really serious going on. So this is just for entertainment purposes only. I have always, when I get a cold, whatever, any kind of head cold, once the cold is ending or is about to end, I will develop a cough that then won't go away. And the cough can last for months and months. And sometimes the cough is so violent that I will, you know, I'll, I'll go into these coughing fits that make me throw up. I mean, I've been walking down the sidewalk, I start coughing and I start puking on the sidewalk in front of everyone in midtown Manhattan and people are like staring at me like what the and I'm not contagious you know it's like a month after I was sick um, it's just it's just the physical act, act of coughing so hard you know triggers your puking reflex so really unpleasant also terrible for my singing voice you know it's really hard to sing when I'm going through these episodes it's hard to focus it's hard to get things done when you're coughing just all day long it's really annoying for everyone to listen to around me um, it's just overall very unpleasant. The way I would best describe it is that every time I would take a breath in or out, it would like tickle my cough reflex. So anytime I would breathe, I would feel the urge to cough. Super annoying. Um, maybe you've experienced something similar. So the main sort of diagnosis that I received from doctors was that when I was getting sick, you know, you get mucus and phlegm in your throat, and then the phlegm was triggering my cough, and then it was also triggering my asthma, and then also acid reflux was triggering my asthma as well, and so the three of those things, the, the phlegm, the mucus, the acid reflux, and the asthma were all kind of irritating each other and going in the circle. Um, so, so I've been put on all kinds of different medicines to to stop all three of those things. The goal was to try to treat those three different things to see if you could eventually sort of calm the system down. Um, now, uh, I've heard from a lot of doctors that oftentimes when a person does have a cough that just is very mysterious and won't go away for months and months and months, it oftentimes is linked to acid reflux. So definitely a good thing to check out and try, maybe cutting out some foods that do cause acid reflux if that is, if you haven't tried that yet because oftentimes that is the case for many people however i tried that i tried being i tried cutting out everything i tried not eating anything for weeks and weeks i've tried lots of different acid reflux medicines that really just didn't do it so what i finally discovered was this term called habit cough and so when i once i discovered this term habit cough and started reading about it i was like ah yes okay this is what i have and then the treatment um, from this Dr. Miles Weinberger really um, just completely cured me. But let me tell you just a little bit about it quickly. So habit cough is defined as a cough that only happens during the day when you're awake, or just when you're awake, doesn't matter if it's day or night. When you're awake, you're coughing, but when you go to sleep, 
it disappears. It goes away completely. So maybe you're coughing at night as you fall asleep. You're having trouble falling asleep because of the cough. But then right when you do drift off, you go to magical dream world, your coughing stops. You never wake up in the middle of the night from a cough. Nobody hears you coughing in your sleep. It really just disappears when you're asleep and only happens when you're awake. So if that is the case for you, then you maybe also ha have it cough. So this was definitely the case for me. I noticed that it was always much worse at night, especially as I was getting ready for bed. But then once I did drift off to sleep, it didn't bother me. And then oftentimes when I would wake up in the morning, it was a little better. And then throughout the day, it would just get worse and worse sort of culminate in the evening and be very bad. So basically what's happening with habit cough is that when you get a cold, um, you'll just develop a cough, which is pretty normal for a cold. But then for some people, the cough will irritate their airways. And then because their airways are irritated, they will continue to cough. And then as they continue to cough, it will keep their airways irritated. And then since their airways are irritated, they will continue to cough. And then they just keep coughing and coughing and coughing even after the mucus goes away and the cold goes away. So maybe the mucus is what originally triggered the cough when they had the cold, but then after the cold went away, after the mucus went away, they're still coughing because that cough just got their airway all irritated and upset, which is pretty crazy because that means that basically your cough is making you cough. So because you're coughing, it's keeping you coughing. And so the way you cure it and you fix it is you just force yourself to not cough, which is kind of hilarious. It's like, um, doctor, I have a cough. How do I cure it? Just don't cough. It's like, just stop. <laughs> I think there's a funny Mad TV sketch about something similar. What you're saying is you're, uh, you're claustrophobic. Uh, yes. Yes, that's it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's go, Catherine. I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, say two words to you right now. I, I want you to listen to them very, very carefully. Then I want you to take them out of the office with you and incorporate them in, into your life. Well, shall I uh, write them down? Well, it, if it makes you comfortable, it's just two words. Most, we find most people can, uh, can remember them. <laughs> OK. You ready? Yes. OK, here, here they are. Stop it! <laughs> It? Yes, S T O P, new word, I T. So, what are you saying? <laughs> you, you know, it's funny. I, I, I say two simple words, and I cannot tell you the amount of people who say exactly the same thing you're saying. I mean, this, you know, this is not Yiddish, Catherine. This is English. <laughs> Stop it. But the funny thing is that it actually does really work, and I've, I've as I've developed a cough multiple times now, I've tested it out each time and every time it has totally zapped it instantly. So here's what you need to do. Basically, at first, it's going to be extremely hard to suppress the coughs, especially if you've been coughing for a long time. Like let's say you've been coughing for over a month. It's going to be really hard at first. But what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take a, you're supposed to carry around the entire day with you a glass of room temperature water and every time you feel the urge to cough, you're going to take a sip of the room temperature water. Not a big sip, not a small sip, just a regular sip. And you're going to focus with just every little cell in your brain, you're going to focus to try to not cough. And it's going to be really, really hard. I mean, it's you're going to be squirming in your skin, you're going to be it's gonna feel like it's basically impossible, but you have to just do everything you can to suppress it. And the thing is, is that the longer you can go without coughing, maybe it's just five minutes you can go first. That's fine, 10 minutes. The longer you can, the longer the increments of time that pass by where you haven't coughed, the more time your, your airway can heal up and then it actually becomes easier because as your airway heals up, you will lose the urge to cough. So the first day I tried it, it was so hard. I mean, I was, I couldn't do anything else all day because it took all of my attention and all of my focus. My whole goal, I made, the only goal for the day was just to try to get through the day without coughing. And maybe I coughed a couple times throughout the whole day, but I pretty much did it successfully. And it was one of the hardest things I've ever done because, you know, I was, you know, you think it's impossible to do, 
to suppress these coughs, but I did it. I got through it, and let me tell you, the, when I woke up the next day, I would say that 90% of my cough was gone. And then by the third day, I would say that pretty much 100% of it was gone, and I was no longer coughing. So within two days, it was basically totally gone. This, this horrible, awful, violent cough that everyone was going, you really need to get that checked out. I mean, my parents were so worried about me. Everyone was always expressing concern. It's also embarrassing just to be coughing. People always think you're sick when you're not. Um, yeah, it's awful. It's really, yeah, it's, and as a singer, really bad. I mean, I, my voice was, sounded awful. I was super hoarse. Um, so incredible that it was gone finally in two days. And especially after trying so many different medicines. All I did was I watched this one video on YouTube. I'll obviously put a link to it below of Dr. Weinberger coaching this little girl through a session where she's trying to suppress her coughs. And basically he's, he's talking to her to sort of distract her and he's, he's just motivating her and he's saying, okay, see if you can go for 30 seconds. Once you make it 30 seconds, it's gonna be that much easier. Just think about how the longer you go without coughing, the easier it's gonna get. Oh, you're doing such a good job. Okay, now let's try to go two minutes. Let's try to go two whole minutes without coughing. Okay, take a sip of your water as, as you feel the urge to cough, to have, have the water. Okay, oh, oh my gosh, we made it two minutes. Now let's try going five minutes, five minutes without coughing. Let's see if we can do it. And he's just sort of motivating her and coaching her. And oh my gosh, I was, I was reading these stories of these other kids. It was really pretty heartbreaking. Like a lot of them have, some of them have had these chronic habit cough that, some of them have had a cough that has gone on for, some of them have had coughs that lasted for, like years and years and they had to drop out of school because it was so, you know, they were coughing every every five seconds and their teacher and classmates couldn't couldn't learn or do anything because this kid was just coughing violently. I mean, it's almost like having Tourette's or something. It was extremely distracting to the rest of the class. Um, I felt so bad for these, these kids, but this method worked for them. Um, so that's why I feel it's worth, it's worth uh, preaching this message and sharing it with, with as many people as I can because if it helps, you, then then that's amazing um, obviously there might be other things going on that are causing your cough and maybe it won't help at all but it's certainly worth a try if you've tried uh, everything else and nothing seems to work and yeah I basically just watched his video and I just sort of did exactly what he was um, doing with the little girl I just tried to suppress my coughs take a sip of water anytime I felt the urge to cough and then boom just like that it disappeared so pretty incredible. I sent Dr. Weinberger this really long message saying, thank you so much. I'm, I can't tell you how grateful I am uh, for you sharing you know, these materials on the internet for free for people to check out. You, you, know, you cured me. Um, I've been dealing with this pretty much my whole life. Um, it's been awful and I, you know, this is the first thing that really sort of worked miraculously. So I think I sort of figured it out because of you. So thank you. So I am very grateful to him. And yeah, maybe this will help you too. So um, anyway, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with a friend who you think might like it, or a friend who won't stop coughing. Um, yeah, and if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I post one video a week, mostly about music things. So that's why this video is a little different from my normal content, but I think it is definitely relevant for singers and you know, why not share it with people because if, if it helps, it helps. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. <laughs> if you want to subscribe to my channel, uh, I would love to have you here and that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night and I will see you guys next week. Thanks again for watching.